Yeah, a little 59 Corvette coming in for me to work on today. Very nice little car. I gotta work on the carburetor. Oh, I got a little few little issues with the top. This is just what I do every day. Just another day at work. Here's our little Corvette problem here. This was our fuel filter that was on here, and it was laying on there exactly like this, just flopping in the air. It went down. You see how close it was to the manifold. So, we took it out. <coughs> now, we have this line bent down to the fuel pump, all the way up across here, and into the carburetor. Tucked out of the way, nice and neat. Try not to have a whole lot of rubber hose in your fuel system. Just little short pieces is all you want. There you go. And here's the the line under the bottom. We would have skills in the vending department there. Short lines again. And you see the crazy bends. Yeah, I'm sending this pump home with him. This is a uh, replacement pump for a 66 Chevelle. I found out that most of the pumps that have a 3 8 outlet and 3 8 inlet for like a 3 8 tubing have a 9 pound pressure rating. Edelbrock carburetors don't like 9 pounds. So what I recommend from now on, look for a 1969 Camaro 307 two barrel, it's a six and a half psi pump. Works perfect with the Edelbrock. If you got a Holly, you can run the nine psi. The Edelbrock is pushing it. All right, here's the box of parts, leftover parts that come out of this car here. And the one thing that really, really gets to you is when you have a brand new part. As a brand new Edelbrock 1406 carburetor, it was flooding. And the problem? Float. Brand new carburetor. You probably can't hear it. But that float is full of gas. It's a brand new carburetor. Squeeze it. And I don't see anywhere any fuel coming out, so that means it's got a little bitty pinhole probably right there. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like a little pimple in the solder joint. So just because it's new doesn't mean it's good. There you go.